Welcome back to the channel guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can integrate Mapbox Maps into our React Native application. As we all know, Google Maps is now paid and it comes out to be quite costly. Mapbox is a cheaper alternative and at the same time has a much more lenient free tier available to us. So let's start by creating an empty React Native project. So I'm going to say React Native in it and I'm going to go for a particular version of React Native and let's call our application React Native Maps YouTube. As of now, I've noticed version 57 of React Native causes some problems in compilation. I've seen version 56 work really well, so I'm going to be using that. Once the installation is complete, just CD into your project folder. So React Native Maps YouTube and just run React Native Run iOS. And I'm going to make sure that it runs on the iPhone 10 simulator by passing in this flag, which is simulator equal to iPhone 10. And there we have our app working. Now, if we head to the Mapbox documentation, here in the documentation section, you'll notice that there's a separate section for React Native. In that section, what we need to first do is we need to make sure that we've signed up for a Mapbox account. I've already signed up. Next, we need to install the Mapbox Maps SDK for React Native. So here we click on the installation instructions. We see we're taken to this GitHub page where we can just say npm install and paste this code in. So let's go back to our terminal. I'm just going to paste that into our project folder. I'll leave a link in the description to the GitHub repo. So we've installed the Mapbox module. However, we need to make some changes in the Xcode project for it to work. So let's open up our project in Xcode. Here I'm going to click on open another project. I'm already in my project folder, which is React Native Maps YouTube. And here, go inside the iOS folder and open up the Xcode project. I'm just going to move that to the side close out the sidebar and here let's follow the instructions. So we've got the first two instructions covered, which is creating an account and also installing the SDK. Now it's time to do the platform specific settings. So let's click on installation instructions for iOS. And here the first one is using CocoaPods. However, I didn't have much success with that. We'll just go ahead and manually install it. So what we're going to do is go to our project folder here, go into the general tab and here at the bottom in embedded libraries, let's add a new library here. Click on add other. So here I'm just going to go into the parent folder, which is React Native Maps YouTube. Here go into the node modules, go inside Mapbox, React Native Mapbox GL, iOS, and select mapbox.framework and open that up. Make sure to check copy items if needed and click finish. So we've added the native Mapbox SDK framework. Next, we need to add the React Native Mapbox SDK files. For that, right click on the libraries folder, click on add files to React Native Maps YouTube, Again, go into the parent folder here, go inside node modules, Mapbox, React Native Mapbox GL, iOS, and here select rctmgl.xcode project. We've added our library, but we need to link our library. So in Xcode, under build phases, you have link binary with libraries, and here we need to just add in our librctmgl.a file. So let's look for that. Let's say librct mgl.a. Let's add that in. So now we've added our React Native Mapbox SDK files. Now we need to tell our app to look for it in our search paths. For that, we're going to go into build settings here. And in the search, let's just search for framework search paths. So as you can see, we've got our framework search paths here. Let's click on that and add a new path here. The path that we need to add is this one. I'm just going to copy that, paste it in here and make sure that this is non-recursive. Once that's added, we need to add a run script to our application to make sure that in the build, our Mapbox SDK is compiled. So under build phases, click this plus button here and add new run script. Under the run script, in this empty box, let's copy the script from here and paste that in and that's it, just close this out. So those were quite a few steps that we had to do. Let's just quickly recap that. So to begin with, we used NPM to install our Mapbox dependency. Then we went to our iOS specific settings. And there we first added our Mapbox SDK framework under our general tab. And then we added our React Native Mapbox SDK files under our libraries folder. We made sure that our search paths were aware of where our framework is which we added under our build settings. And lastly, we added a run script to make sure that our Mapbox SDK is compiled when our React Native app is run. Now it's time to just test it out. So if we come back to our Mapbox documentation, here we have a demo under initializer map. Let's just copy this code. 
open up our project in our code editor. In my case, that's Visual Studio Code. Here, let's open up our project. React Native Maps YouTube. Come into our app.js. And here, let's replace this code with the code that we copied. Now, if we save that out and refresh the app, we notice that we're getting our map box map in front of us. So in the next video, we'll build on this and we'll see what all we can do with these maps.